Hi guys, I'm back again. I have a package from Starting Over, Tina. And I know we are in a swap for um, one of the Facebooks, so I'm not sure if this is it too. So let's find out. Oh, goodness. Oh, she brought both of them. So this is the Facebook one that I was just mentioning. I'll show you that in a sec. And this is entry for your challenge. Just try to open this as quick as I can without all the noise. Just as that. You can see the shine on her tail. Oh, she's got like Mod Podge on there for the background. It looks like a book page. Oh, and she put some kind of um, like fabric or gauze or something over it. Then Mod Podged it. I think. So pretty. Look at the way this tail is. I don't know if you can see that, but the way she colored it, with it looks like watercolor, and it kind of bleeds, you know, like that effect. That is so pretty. And then she's got a little rosette here with the little anchor emblem. That is so cute. And this is hard. She's got the back. Oh, she used a CD and then put lace over it. <clears throat> Excuse me, lace and then Mod Podged it. That is a great idea, Tina. I don't know why I never thought of that. Thanks for that. See how you can get inspiration off other people's? So pretty. She's got all this eyelash trim and lace. I love that. Thank you. So pretty. Oh, it's her, um, she's got two ATC cards and, um, I don't know if I can get them out. Hold on one sec. These are so pretty. Oh, she's got a little charm. It looked like, I don't know if it came off. If it was attached there or not. Look at how pretty that is. It's another mermaid with that like watercolor painting effect. Stay strong. Some gears on it. Looks like she's got some glossy accent over it. And then the uh, gold in the back. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh, and she's got a little lace doily here too. It's like all Mod Podge, I think. Oh. Her favorite color is purple, blue, and black. Uh, her birthday's October 14th. She loves steampunk, coffee. I hate pink. <laughs> she hates pink for herself. <laughs> Thanks for that little tip. I'll make sure I don't. Actually, I don't think I sent you anything with pink, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you for that. I don't think these come out. These are so pretty. I don't know if you can see them with the glare. But she has like vintage. Let's try to vintage mermaids. And then she has all these charms and these chain with the shell, the anchor. And all these gears and she did more water coloring in the background there and then this one over here she has the eyelash trim 
and another vintage mermaid. Those are so cool. Where'd you get those? Those are so pretty. And I just got a little sea seahorse. And then it says, encourage your hopes, not your fears. These are so pretty. Thank you, Tina. You always do amazing work. So, so pretty. Thank you for those. And then she sent me some, a paper pad. Studio Calico pattern papers. Ooh, look at the bicycles. Too cute. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Tina. That's sweet. You know I like my 6x6 six six paper pads. <laughs> you didn't have to send me a whole pad, though, so thank you so much for that. So cute. These are perfect size for making my 6x6 six six mini albums that I make. Oh, so cool. I don't have anything like this either, so thank you for that. Very sweet of you. And some vintage looking uh, masking tape, washi tape. Very pretty. I don't have anything like that either. And I don't have this one either. My Dollar Tree doesn't have that. Thank you for that one. It's got the leaves all over it. Thank you, Tina. This is so nice. I will put you down for your two. IC cards and an ATC card and your little banner piece that I will put up. I'm going to consider it a banner piece because I can hang it. That is so pretty. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I really appreciate it. Now this right here, we were in a group swap on Facebook for, um, we signed up for vintage altered paint brushes. She sent me hers at the same time. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Holy moly. I love that. Look at those flowers. Those are gorgeous. That's all this bling. She's got some uh, fringe lace all the way down. And this part is a um, napkin she mod podged. I have those same napkins. They're so pretty. And some burlap flowers. Some little beads hanging. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is, you guys. Gorgeous work. Love, love, love it. That's so cool. We can just hang it right on a little hook for decoration. I love it. Thank you. Oh, that's a butterfly, not a flower. Oh, how cute. I love this little feather effect, too. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope you like mine. It's not as... 3D, but I hope you like it. Thank you so much for that. I'll be sending you yours soon and my other partner. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> it was really fun making it too. So thank you. Starting over Tina. Um, that's her YouTube name and she makes amazing stuff. She just had a challenge going for um, banner pieces. I'm not sure if it's still going, so, but go check her out. She is, has amazing work. It's pretty awesome. So thank you, Tina. I really appreciate you entering, and I just love the creativity with these vintage-looking mermaids. I've never seen that, so thank you. Love it. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes for some more. Talk to you later. Bye.